foxes, there are traps there, there's all sorts of things and she goes walking through and she's lost and she's crying out for a moment and do you think her mom's just going to stand at the end of the labyrinth and just not have any emotion? Do you think her mom's just going to stand there? If she's any kind of a mother she will be yearning for her little daughter and she, she will go through that labyrinth and she will pursue her daughter till she gets hold of her daughter and her daughter will be crying and she'll get hold of her daughter and she'll hold her daughter in her hands. My daughter, I love you. Come here. You were lost. That is what God wants with you. You have gone in your labyrinth of life and you've done things, said things, lived things. And those things that you've said and those things that you've done, no one will know only you. Only God and you know. And you know the labyrinth that you went through. You know the agony and the pain and the suffering. You know the sins that you enjoyed that you reveled in more than anybody else would know. You reveled in those sins and enjoyed to the full things that were disgusting and perverted. You enjoyed them. And you went in the labyrinth of life. Sometimes you were in agony. Sometimes you were in tears. Sometimes you were furious and angry. And you went on that journey. And all that time, just as that little girl is in a labyrinth and the mother pursues that little girl, her daughter, and desires to grab her daughter and put her in her arms. So God has been doing that with you. He's been doing it with you. He's been pursuing you in the labyrinth of life. He's been pursuing you in the labyrinth of life. And he so much wants you to come and realize what he did for you. That he died on that cross and he, he gave his life for you so that your sin may be forgiven and that you may be cleaned and, 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 and washed and, and, and the pain and the hurt and the, the worry and the concern and the, and, and the failure and, and all these things. He, he wants to wash them clean and give you peace. That's what he wants for you. And sometimes he, he has to allow you to go down that labyrinth because you wouldn't listen. Just like the little girl, the mum tells the little girl, whatever you do, don't go down that labyrinth, my dear, because it's quite dangerous. There's potholes and there's manhunts and there's foxes and also Don't go down that manhunt. And the little girl says, I'm going, and she goes. And God says, don't go that way. And when we go that way, we there's, a, there's our conscience that tells us, no, we shouldn't go. But sometimes we go down that rabbit trail, and we go down that rabbit trail, we go down that labyrinth because we're hurting inside. We're all screwed up and mixed up, and God knows that. God knows that. He knows that. He knows that. He knows that. He knows you're mixed up. He knows you're messed up. He knows you're screwed up. He knows people screwed you up. He knows that. Maybe some of you have been abused by your family, by your parents. Maybe some of you have been abused by your spouse. Maybe some of you have gone through, have experienced abuse in some way in your life. And that has screwed you up. And then you've gone down on your labyrinth of life trying to work out all the screwed up things that happened to you. And God knows that. God knows that. God isn't going to condemn you for it. God isn't going to put you down for it. God isn't going to smash your brains for it. When he knows that you've been in pain, he knows that you've been suffering, he knows that you've been screwed up, he knows that you've been trying to work it all out. You see, God. You see, God is a God of grace. And he's a God of restoration. 
And that's what he wants for you. He wants to bring restoration and grace for you. And he's got more blessings than you could ever dream. You say, oh, Jay, are you, are you trying to honey salt me now? Are you trying to give me some honey salt? Are you trying to give me some opium so you just deaden me? Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, you're offering all this blessing, are you? I'm not offering you earthly blessing. I'm not offering you earthly blessing. I'm offering you spiritual blessing. I'm offering you an experience of God that is beyond this world. I must, I'm offering you a peace that you cannot find in this world. I must, I'm offering you a God who is alive and who has pursued you and will continue to 